Hi, welcome everyone. Um, today I'm going to try to attempt to show you how to cancel your pending transactions in, through your MetaMask. Um, there are other YouTube videos out there that um, that does help people. So I'm just trying to see if I could do a video. Um, some people have said that it has helped them. And um, of course, with most of mine, it has helped me. I'm still trying to figure certain things out on my end as far as getting rid of these pending transactions through through MetaMask. So basically, guys, this is an instruction. It shows you step by step how to do it. Um, my main thing, I'm gonna try to attempt to show you how to do it through my MetaMask wallet that I have up. Of course, I will have these these links below this video so you'll get access to it. Um, we're gonna concentrate on a couple of things here. But first of all, uh, we have to actually get find out what's pending. Okay, so that's the first thing. So what we do here, click on the fox, and as you can see, I got a pending transaction right here. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is go go to um, first of all, the first thing you need to do is once you choose your wallet and find out what, which one is pending, you need to click the little circle up here, and then you click on settings. You need to make sure you got certain buttons turned on. So hit advanced. You scroll down, make sure you have advanced gas controls on, transaction time, that could be on for you. Um, you can leave hex data off. You can uh, you can show conversation and test nets. And, um, and make sure all of these are on, hit on for test nets. Also hit on for customized transa transaction amounts. As you can see, according to the instruction, you have to have that on. So... Make sure all these buttons are on and then hit save and you should be good. You shouldn't have to change nothing else. So keep that in mind. All right. And, and don't bother nothing else there. Just hit the X button. So that's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is find out the transactions that's pending, right? So what you do is click those three dots. Um, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, click the three dots here. Then hit view on Etherscan. That's the next step. All right, then it's going to actually show you what transactions are pending. All right, you see one that said out. That's the one we need to concentrate on. So whatever whatever ones that say out, that's or in, that's not that's pen that's pending. That's what you need to concentrate on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click here on the transaction hash. I'm gonna click the second one. All right, and then it should open up um, the actual transaction. Okay, the next step is to Find out what the announce is. So what you do is click here to see more. All right, you should see the gas limit. Y'all should, should see the, the GWEI, which is the gas price, which is 200 for me. So I need to do higher than that based on the instructions. And also I need to keep record of the announce, which for me is 29. So these two main things is what we need to concentrate on. We need to have a higher gas price when we send it and have a now so 29 so that's very important so that's the second step also guys i'm going to this website here called eth gas station dot info that's the website eth eth gas gas station s-t-a-t-i-o-n dot info this i found out about this website through watching other youtube videos um this will help so we need to send, we want the transaction to go through fast. So I'm going to choose 320 for mine at this current rate. Guys, keep in mind, it changes daily. So it may show a different rate for gas fees. So make sure you use the fastest to kind of help you out when you send it. So that's very important. So I know to use 320 for my, for my, um to make it go fast for me. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on MetaMask. So the first step. Okay, we got everything we need. Write down what your announce is. Write down what your um. Let's go back just to show your recap. Write down what your um. Right here. Write down what your your gas price is. Mine showing two hundred. So write all these down on a piece of paper so you remember it. Mine is twenty nine ounce, so yours probably be different. And make sure you write down the gas price, which is here. Whatever gas price you got, write that down. And please note, you got to pay a higher gas price than that in, the, in order to make it go through. And I also, as a recap, I got my how fast 
the what the amount for the gas fee for the fast, which is for me 320. So I've got all that written down. Now I'm going to send Ethereum to myself. So the first step here is copy your address after you got all your records. Hit um copy your address, then hit send. But you're gonna send you're gonna send zero Ethereum to yourself based on the news. So I'm gonna paste my address here. That's normal. Keep it zero Ethereum. Keep in mind, it said for me 320. So you see right here, gas price. I'm gonna put um, it's 291 there, but I need to change it 320. And also, I'm gonna keep the gas limit. That's normal. Then I'm gonna hit next. And remember, my my announce was 29. I wrote it down, so I'm gonna hit 29. And then I'm just gonna hit confirm and wait. All right, I'm going back here. Just, yep, see 29 now. So I, I put all that in place. Hopefully this is not confusing, but if it is, they do have other videos that can help you. Okay, it counts to that. Y'all see that? Transaction confirmed. So if you get that, that's a sign. It, it counts a dependent transaction. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go back to, to verify that. I'm going to close all this out. I'm going to Click the little fox. It shouldn't be no more pending transactions for me. Based on that, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the little uh, three dots. I'm gonna hit view on view on EtherScan. And you see, I have no more pending transactions. So we good. So that's basically how you do it. Please, guys, if you have any any um issues, anything, of course you have to contact MetaMask support and submit a ticket and all that type of stuff. But this is basically what I was able to put together. Hope this helped. And if they do have other smaller, shorter videos that can help you in the long run, just go on YouTube and check it out. Thank you for watching.